Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Seattle Mariners going up against the Colorado Rockies. First pitch coming your way next. First pitch moments away. Now the starting pitcher in this one, Austin Gomber. What should we keep an eye on here? It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot, the same tunnel, and that can make life very difficult on his opponents. J.P. Crawford gets a chance to hit. And a pitch. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. First pitch swing in, went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages, working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And now it's Julio Rodriguez. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. There's a swing and a miss. All ones the count. Crawford gets his lead at first with nobody out. That one lifted to left. Makes the grab. That in third. And now we check out the Mariners lineup. And no doubt a big factor in this series so far, Mitch Hanniger. Well, these days we know teams, you know, they put a game plan together for every hitter in a lineup. But a guy like this, they circle him. Make sure he doesn't beat you. Uh, so you know they put in a little extra time and effort and on how they're going to approach him. He can be a huge difference maker when he's hot. So it's going to be fun to see how they try to work him right here. Jorge Polanco in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Gomber in his fifth season he features a four seam fastball a slider a changeup, a curve and he works in a sinker and a pitch Crawford goes out in front and foul to the left side. Breaking ball inside. Two balls and a strike. Man at first, one away. That one not close. And that's ball three. And he grounds one to the right side. Fires to second for one. Return throw to first. Got him. Double play. And that'll do it. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. The Rockies coming up. We've got no score. Back here at Coors Field. And on the mound in this one, Logan Gilbert. Chris, what are you looking for from him? With the height, the release point creates a lot of tilt on his pitches. So coming into the zone, really hard for the hitters to get on plane. Makes it very difficult for the hitters to guess. Bottom of the first. Here's Here Charlie Blackman. The Rockies, the designated hitter, Charlie Blackman. The wind of the pitch. That one finds the zone. It's 0-1. Swings through that. Oh, two is the count. And that one is inside ball one. Hey. 
Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And that's the first out. Ezekiel Tovar digging in for the Rockies. And first offering is fouled off. One out, base is empty. And that's off the inside edge. And the count even one and one. Popped up. Puts it away for the out. Out number two. Here's Bud Black's lineup for the Colorado Rockies. This is an offense, Chris, that's having a hard time scoring runs right now. Yeah, sometimes things just aren't going to click. And unfortunately, what happens is guys press, they try to do a little bit more, and they get out of their game. You've got to let the game come to you. If you chase it, it's going to run from you. So this is a team that just needs to calm down, relax, and understand that they're going to come out of this. Line drive, base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Good. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite oh, way. Yeah. Didn't get jumpy, didn't yeah. try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Runner at first with two away. Elias Diaz digging in for the Rockies. Ball one. And takes low for ball one. Ball one, no strike. Two outs. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. One and one. Good well, eye in that spot. Inside. That's excellent location for a pitch like that. It looks like it's going to be a strike, and then it just runs in on the hands. So if you can command it and hitters have to respect it, just keep going in there until they make you make an adjustment. And there's a foul ball. Bounce to third. Rojas steps on the bag for the force, and he gets back to the bag to end the inning. Bad throw doesn't cost him. The Rockies strand one, scoreless after one. Second inning, set to go. Now batting Mitch Hanniger. Mitch Hanniger. Gomber, back to work. And yeah, that's a little bit high. Ball one. And that one fouled off. On the ground at first. And he handles it himself for the out. Well, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat That's it into the good. ground. The designated hitter. Now Cal. it's the DH, Whoa. Cal Raleigh. You know, Raleigh made history in 2023. He had a game with two home runs and six RBIs, becoming the first catcher in Mariners history to do that. Ball one, one no strikes. Speaking of dingers, he's the second fastest to 50 home runs in Seattle history. Only A-Rod needed fewer games. I see you win. One and one. The one-one is fouled off. One down, base is empty. And another ball. Rolled over to third, McMahon. Two up, two down. That is it. The catcher, Mitch Garver. 
Mitch Garver up to hit here. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Foul ball. Two out spaces empty. Headed down the line. And a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. Ball one there. Too close for me, partner, to take that 0 2 fastball, but for whatever reasons, he let it go by. He's still in the at bat. I don't think he'll let the next one go. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And the Mariners set down one, two, three. No runs, no hits, no errors. Now to the bottom of the second. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. We head to the bottom of the second. Now the left fielder, Nolan Jones. This kid picked up in a trade. A lot was offered and given to get him, but he's got a real high ceiling. And the right hander back to work. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left handed hitter. There's a strike. Cold night like tonight. Last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end. Trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. Tell you what, you're going to be trying to catch things out front. So off speed pitches may be a good complement to that fastball. 0 oh 2 now. Struck him out swinging. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. Just the blown away in that at bat. Three fastballs, all strikes. He wasn't even able to foul one off. There's not much you can take away from an at bat like that as a hitter, other than maybe there's something wrong with your eyes. Got to have better timing on the fastball next time. And Lowry's Montero batting with one down takes a strike. And he'll one. And a foul ball. The 0 2. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Still tied at zero, last of the third. Three. Got him looking, and there's two away. Brenton Doyle digging in for the Rockies. Strike on the inside corner. Next offering is in for a strike. 0 oh, 2 count, both pitches on the inside part of the plate. Hitter is thinking, I don't want to get beat oh, here. This is a good time for something off speed away. Two outs. Bounced up the middle. Crawford on the run, sends it over to first. They get the out, and that'll do it. Nothing doing for the Rockies. We'll move to the third with no score. Back here in Denver, and here's the first baseman, Luke Rayley. Here's a batter who, for whatever reasons, plays better on the road, and that should help him here today. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. The lefty fires. Smoked on the ground a second. Tosses to first. One up, one down. Batting eight, the left fielder, number 22, Jonathan. And up Clase. next for Seattle, Jonathan Classe. Wait. 
puts a bunt down right side Montero and they tag them out. Here's Josh Rojas. Off the mark there. One and oh. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Jones pulls it down, and that is that. Home half of the third coming up. No score. And we're back Leading as we go the to the last of the, the third. Right and now the right fielder, Michael, Michael Tolia. Tolia. The pitch. Tolia checks his swing, appeal to third, did not go. And he deals. And a good eye there. Two balls, no strike. Ripped on a line. One up, one down. Batting none. The second baseman. Allen. Next to hit for the Rockies, Allen Trejo. Strike one. Just a bit tardy there. Not sure if he had a hard time picking it up out of the hand or if he was sitting off speed. Off the plate, and the count is one and one. That one missed. One down, base is empty. Up the middle, and that chance handled. They get him, but it was pretty close. Well, I'm impressed with this guy's internal yeah, clock. He knew he had plenty of time to take that extra step, secure his grip on the baseball, and make a strong, accurate throw. Now it's Charlie Blackman. Struck out swinging, leading off the bottom of the first. That one's in there, 0-1. Why the kick the pitch? And it's quickly nothing in two on uh, the designated hitter. Righty delivers. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And it's a three up, three down inning. So they make short work of him there. Three innings complete, no score. And welcome back to the ballpark. John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, J.P. Crawford. The wind and the pitch. That one the other way. Makes the catch. One down. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you hit the plate. And stepping in for the Mariners, Julio Rodriguez. That one hooked foul. The Mariners knew what they had. Signed him in July of 2017 for a little under $2 million when Rodriguez was just 16 years old out of the Dominican Republic. One down, base is empty. Rodriguez checks his swing. Now it appealed to first. And he went, says Larry Bullard. 
kicks and fires. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, there's a three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. Second baseman, Better now, Jorge Polanco. He hit into a double play his first time up. That oh, one way no, outside, right. and it's one to no. Fast forward to 2022 for Julio Rodriguez to win the Rookie of the Year. The Seattle Mariners were then compensated with the 29th overall pick in the first round of the draft in 2023. Part of the new CBA. Oh, gets dirty to first. And very nicely done for the out. Nobody left for Seattle, and we're still knotted at zero. Back here at Coors Field, now the number two hitter, Ezekiel Tovar. The pitch. And that's outside, ball one. Foul ball there. Right into the play. The shortstop takes the ball. Swing and a high fly ball left field. And makes the grab. And there's one down. The third baseman, number 24. Ryan Ryan. McMahon steps to the plate. McMahon. One for one with a single so far. McMahon measures six feet two inches. A career batting average over 350. And he was a second round pick back in 2013 no, no. and another ball in for a strike two and one now all tied up we're here in the bottom of the fourth and he it's dodges ball that three. fastball There's a swing and a drive. Tattooed and gone. Just like that, they move in front. It's 1-0. That one just sounded different. And yeah, might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I can feel that swing from the boot. Breaking ball on the inside part of the play requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the front shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job mechanically. He deserves that home run. And now it's Elias Diaz. He swings and fouls one off. one and a foul ball one next ball. one in the Two dirt strike. in the air left field down the line Classe makes the play and there are two down. Just now pulled off of it a little bit no right there. Field. That front shoulder no coming way. open instead of staying closed. Yo. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. That one fouled off. And 
And now the 0 1. Misses the zone and he gets him to chase. Another 0 2 count right here. Pitcher just in the driver's seat. He can go anywhere he wants to go right here. And a pitch. And down on strikes. That's the inning. Rockies score first with this solo homer. It's now a one nothing ball game. Back after this on the show. All set for the start of the inning. Now it's the right fielder, Mitch Hanniger. Mitch Hanniger. Gomber back to work. That one finds the corner. That's strike one. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Well, these Mariners just aren't putting together very many good at-bats in this one. Just one base runner to this point, and it's not exactly early anymore. They have guys in this lineup capable of sparking something, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. And now the lefty. And yeah, there's a the ball. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Cal Raleigh getting ready to hit. Grounded out his first time. And a good fastball to start him off at strike one. The Rockies leading by a run, and we're at the top of the fifth. Ripped to short. And the first two set down on the top of the fifth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Mitch Garver up next for the Mariners. Struck out swinging his first time. Nope. Just missed. Oh. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. Right through there for a strike. Now this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. And a swing and a miss. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Still nothing on the scoreboard for him after five. It's the Rockies one and the Mariners nothing. Back here in Denver. And here is Elauri's Montero. Elauri Montero. The right hander back to work. And a foul ball. High fly ball, pretty well struck out towards right center. Hits the fence. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder Brenton Doyle grounded out to short in his first trip. Ball one low. Damn. Out to short, Crawford. 
Tosses across the first, and that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. Here's Michael Tolia. He's over one. Now fly ball to right center. Rodriguez flashes the leather on the run and catch. Now back, second baseman, Allen Trejo. So in now for Colorado, Allen Trejo. Grounded out his first time up. That one close ruled a ball. And that's ball one. Close pitch there, and he's kind of wondering where it missed. You know, getting a feel for each umpire's strike zone is something that pitchers and hitters really have to think about and work on from game to game, and sometimes from at bat to at bat. Fought off foul. Montero stands at second with two gone. And there's a foul ball. Fights that one away, still one and two. looking and he didn't like the call a double in the inning but they leave him stranded we're through five it's the Rockies one and the Mariners nothing And we're back, top six. And now the for Seattle, season. Luke Rayleigh. Rayleigh. Here comes a pitch. And fouled off. The wind of the pitch. And that one fouled off. And a pitch. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Ground ball to the right side. Lays out. Oh, it's off his glove. He doesn't have a play, and he reaches safely. Well, that may end up being an at-bat. We go back to later on when this game is over. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Now, Jonathan Classe gets the bunt down the right side. Throw not in time, and he's safe. This couldn't have played out any better on offense. They were trying to trade it out to move the runner into scoring position, but instead, they just couldn't make the play on defense. You really need to get it out there. First and second, no outs. Josh Rojas will hit next. He's 0 for 1. And that is in for a strike, going one. The pitch. And a swing and a line drive at a right field. And that's a base hit. Here's the throw. It's offline, and he scores. We're tied at one. Just a huge at bat right there. Nice line drive to the pole side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Back to the top of the Seattle order. J.P. Crawford up next for the Mariners. One for two. 
That oh. one way inside. Well, he's just given up three straight hits, and now behind in this count to this hitter. Might be a good time for somebody to call a timeout. Maybe the pitching coach go out there and talk to him just a little bit. Kicks and deals. That one at the knees for a strike. One ball, one strike. A 1-1. One, one. That's ball two. Squirts away a little bit. Well done behind the dish. And the three next ball. pitch is way outside. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. Go ahead run at second. And we're the top half of the sixth. Now this is a rocket to left. Diving and he can't make the play. Runner around third on his way to the plate. One runs in. Throw is high and over his head. Got to be feeling great about that double. Big spot, and he drives in two. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Here's Bud Black towards the mound, and we're going to see a pitching change here. Austin Gomber out of the game, and he kept him in it, even though he's in line for the loss right now. New arm when we come back. Ryan Feltner takes over on the mound. He's making his fourth appearance of the season. And now the center fielder, Julio Rodriguez. Three pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. And that's in there for strike one. Runner at second, nobody out. Right, and a swing and a miss. The Rockies have some action in the pen. Cal Quantrill appears to be getting loose. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Jorge Polanco up next for the Mariners. Well, both sides equally as strong. So not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. First pitch misses. Inside corner for a strike. Just off the inside edge. Crawford over at second, one down. That one inside, and that's ball three. Get ready for some action here. Good RBI guy at the plate. Runners in scoring position, and a hitter's count. Swing, and this one's bounced to the ground. And that's just foul. Battling here as he fouls it away. One out and a runner at second. Goes down looking. Mitch Hanniger up next for the Mariners. Mitch Hanniger. And that one is lifted in the air. Tolia has it sized up. He's got it. And that is out number three. But three score in the inning. Two of them on this two-run double. It's now a 3-1 ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show.
And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the sixth inning. There's Chuck Nasty. Charlie Blackman. The pitch. And a foul ball left side. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. But all these Rockies, from what we've seen, I think it's fair to wonder if they've been too patient at the plate. They found themselves hey. behind in the count quite a bit. They're trying to be patient, but it's mostly resulting in outs, not base runners. And you could argue it's making things more difficult at the plate. That's out to center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. Shortstop. Here's the shortstop at the play. Ezekiel Tovar. And here it comes. The shortstop takes the ball. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every bat. A swing and a miss as he chases way out of the zone. Ground ball, left side, and foul ball. Base is empty one away here in the bottom of the sixth. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And that one missing low. And that's downstairs and outside. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. One down, base is empty. And that's ball four. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. One gone runner at first. Ryan McMahon digging in for the Rockies. Counts 1-0. In the dirt, blocked. He's in there. Tobar into scoring position on the wild pitch, and there goes the double play possibility. Oh, not exactly making him earn it right now with the walk and now a wild pitch. He's going to need to find a way to refocus out there, get back in the strike zone before this unravels on him. At the belt and fires. Ball two. Well, it's been a very impressive outing so far. His command has been a big part of it. Even when he misses, he misses outside the strike zone, which is exactly what a pitcher wants. Right hander kicks deals. That one is absolutely belted. And it is gone. Another homer. His second home run of the game, and we are tied. It's 3-3. Listen to these fans. This place is absolutely buzzing right now. You can feel the energy all the way up here in our broadcast booth. In a 2-0 count, a hitter is on high alert. This is what you look for to be in the driver's seat here. He got a pitch that he could handle, and he hit that pitch really hard. Nice home run. So it's all tied up thanks to the home run. Here's the Rockies cleanup hitter, Elias hey. Diaz. There's a strike. Still only one out here in the inning. Hey. Top of the zone for a called strike. Dangerous spot for that slider right there. Didn't seem to quite finish out front and get that sharp break. Tell you what, he doesn't want to throw that pitch again. That's to third. And that is out number two. The left fielder, number 22. Nolan Jones. Now here's Nolan Jones. 
Went down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Rips one to right. That's a fair ball, and it's getting into the corner. Around first and hustling for second. And he's in there standing up with a two-out double. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. And now here is Elaurice Montero. Drove it off the wall last time, just missed out on a home run. And the first pitch misses for ball one. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with this speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Two outs. And that's outside. And the count is 2-0. He's clearly trying to work him away here. Both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. 2-0 to count. Here it comes. And that one fouled off. Shot to first base and he snags it to end the inning. But the Rocks bring in two on this big fly. We're tied now with three apiece. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Jalen Beeks. Cal Raleigh now at the plate. He's a catcher by trade, but the DH here in this one. And a pitch. Beats goes five feet, 11 inches, 30 years old now. And they went out and made a trade for him last season. And a ground ball to first. It's through for a hit. So the go-ahead run is on base with a knock. Jake Cade. He'll play first base after the injury. Now the Mariners catcher, Mitch Garver. Right through there for a strike. High fly ball out towards left field. That one carrying. This one over the bleachers and it finds the concourse. Look out. A towering shot. And that's how they take the lead. It's 5-3. Singing, he's been waiting for this moment to finally come. Well, we knew it would come eventually and I wouldn't be shocked to see him go on a nice little run at the plate, hitting some balls out of the ballpark. Got that monkey off his back. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. And up next for Seattle, Luke Rayleigh. 
There's a strike up high. 1-1. Can be tough to bounce back down. after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. The wind of the pitch. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. The left field, number 22. And stepping in for the Mariners, Jonathan Classe. And there's the strike. On one. Just well, missed. Next offering misses down and away. When the skipper calls down to the bullpen, he's expecting the guy to come in and get outs. So far, not getting what he was hoping for. And he bunts, but that's a foul ball. Left hand batter waits. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Pulled the string of the changeup. Oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy. There goes the runner. Cut on and miss. The throw, oh, tag, and he's out. Man, I see him trying to be aggressive right there late in this ball game, trying to add on to that lead. You know, I really like the thought, but it just didn't work out that time. Nice job by the defense right there to keep things right where they are in terms of the score. Two runs across in the inning. Here, the top half of inning number seven. Now this is in the air down the line. And that's a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. And ball one. The guy at the plate could one recognize ball, slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. Two outs. On the ground to third. McMahon He's fires there. over to first. And that is the inning. Two come in on this Seattle homer. It's now a 5-3 ball game. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back here at Coors Field, bottom of the inning. So in now for Colorado, Brenton Doyle. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Next outside, pitch is outside. Well, he's back out there to begin the seventh. That surprised you at all, Chris? Yeah, a little bit. It was a little rough sixth inning there, but his skipper's got a lot of what confidence in him. But trust me, they will keep a close eye on how he does in this one. Line drive. That's a base hit out of the left center field. So a man on base to start the inning. Off the bat, it was headed for the gap all the way. And as a hitter, you love seeing those as you take your first couple of steps out of the box. You know you've got some real estate to run on. It's such a good feeling. Nice liner into the gap right there. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Logan Gilbert done for the night, and he really had to grind it out. But he does lead with the lead. New arm of the mound in a moment. New pitcher for the Mariners, Bryce Miller. 
And compared to a lot of other relievers, strikeouts have not been a big weapon for him this year. So the defense should be active. Michael Tolia digging in for the Rockies. There's a strike. The tying run at the plate. On the ground, two ball to Crawford for one. Back to first, and that is a double play. I think four, six, three double plays like that are way tougher than these guys make it look sometimes because no matter how you do it, the feed from the second baseman is a tough one. That's where footwork really comes into play, but right there, very well done. Trainer stands in now and watches strike one. And the righty deals. And that's outside. And that's ball one. Inside just missed. That two seam fastball is usually coupled with a slider away. And when a hitter's conscious of the pitch in, it's hard for him to cover middle away. And that's where a pitcher can really finish off that batter. Out towards right center field. Rodriguez heads towards it. And that will end the inning. A new pitcher in the game, Cal Quantrill. He pitched yesterday, and we'll see him once again. Here's the Mariners leadoff man, J.P. Crawford. J.P. Crawford. And a pitch. And a seed into center. That's a base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Fastball pretty much middle-middle, and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise, he put a great swing on it. At the play, Julio Rodriguez. Not close with that one. 1-0. One and oh. Quattro back to work. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Crawford aboard here at first with nobody out. That one fouled off. In the dirt, but kept close. And the runner holds. That's the third. Throws to second That's for one. Out. On to first. Ow, double play. Just got it there in time. As a former player, watching 5-4-3 double plays brings back some adrenaline. It's such an exciting play, and it's always a great reminder of baseball being such a team sport. And now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Jorge Polanco. Just missed. Hey. That one finds a corner. That's one strike one. one. Two down, nobody on. And we're in the top of the eighth. Oh. 
on the ground right side throws to first and Polanco is out and that is the inning no runs one hit no errors and no one left last half of the eighth coming up it's the M's five and the Rockies three back now new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth Ryan Stanek hasn't pitched in the last three days So the Rockies lineup turns over. Here's Colorado's DH, Charlie Blackman. Blackman. The pitch. There's the strike. pitch gets a piece there we'll do it again left hand hitter waits fights that one away and the count remains 0 and 2. And he deals. Way inside Two gets strikes. out of the way. And a one two. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. Rojas drifts towards it and he makes the catch. One away. Now that is a stop. Now it's the shortstop, Ezekiel Tovar. Breaking ball in there for a strike. The M's holding on to a two run lead here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. That one catches the zone, and the count is 0 and 2. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Here's the 0-2. One ball, two strikes. In the air, out towards left center. They got it for out number two. Now batting third baseman. Ryan. Next to hit Ryan McMahon. McMahon. Three for three with a pair of home runs and a single. Ball Just right off now. the outside edge. Ball one. And a good oh, eye there. Two down, nobody on. Swings through that one. Two balls, one strike. Two outs. Pitch Red in the ball, dirt. One now strike. three and one. Elias Diaz up next. Three one is on the way. Right through there for a strike. Three and two. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball.
and that's four, too four, high four, ball three. four. It's tough after falling behind a hitter two balls and no strikes but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Diaz at the plate and takes high there. Tying run at the plate. Rip, but it curls foul. Oh, man. That stays fair. We got a new ball game. Great swing. Just couldn't keep it between the lines. He's got to try to bottle that. Do it again. The 1-1. One, one. It's strike two. Looking very settled on the mound here in the eighth. One more out. They'll probably hand it off to their closer for the ninth with at least a two-run lead. pitch and another ball two and two wouldn't chase that time great RBI spot here just got to stay focused on the pitch the runner will be in motion so something in the gap should definitely score it Nolan Jones up next for the Rockies Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. Stays alive. Three, two. On the ground to the left. And that's a base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Nice at bat right there. Not just the result, but also seeing a lot of pitches. Made him really work out there on the mound. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock. And we'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. So out of the bullpen for the Mariners, Taylor Saucedo. Substitution now at second base on a pinch run for the Rockies. Solomon Little. Here's the left fielder, Nolan Jones. Fought off foul. So the tying run at second. That's nope. a little bit low. Some activity in the Mariners bullpen. Andres Munoz appears to be getting ready for manager Scott Service. Two on, two outs. Ripped to third, but handled. And that'll end the inning. Two left for Colorado. Still a two-run deficit. It's 5-3. So coming into the game now on defense, Brendan Rodgers. He's the new third baseman. So now it's the Mariner cleanup the hitter, Mitch Hanniger. 0 for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. The wind and the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Is the low inside corner good fastball and that's outside and the count one and two right-handed reliever just off the outside edge
Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Quattro back to work. Swing and a miss struck him out. Just a mid 90s challenge fastball right there. Not much to it. And I'm sure he'd love another swing at it because it was in a very hittable location. Those are the swings where you can sometimes start to question yourself as a hitter and say, how did I miss that? But you know what happens? Raleigh in now. Takes ball one off the plate. Base is empty one away here at the top of the ninth. In the air, left field. Could be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. In safely. It's a double and his second hit. Now batter. The catcher. First no, offering and it just misses. Raleigh, the runner at second with one away. Foul ball. Man at second. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. One ball, two strikes. And a one two. Base knock center field. Around third. The throw in, but it's offline. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. So, man aboard, Luke Rayleigh up next for the Mariners. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. He's got it, and there's two away. The left field, number 22, Jonathan Classe. Man at first, Jonathan Classe, up next for the Mariners, one for three. That's down and in. Counts one and oh. Strike on the inside corner. And a count even at one. And it's fouled away. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. Drifts towards it. Makes the grab and that'll end the inning. Well, they pick up one run on the RBI single and they've doubled up now. It's 6 3. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Welcome back. And here comes the closer, Andres Munoz. I think closer has to be one of the toughest jobs in baseball and we see a pretty high turnover rate because of it. Every outing seems to be high pressure this one included. We'll see if he can wrap up the Leo, win and get himself a save. Hockey. Here's Jake Cave now. Came into the Cave. game on defense. So his Cave. first trip to the plate here. Hockey. And a pitch. 
just oh, missed. in for a strike well that's really the money spot down and away if you can locate that consistently it's going to be real tough for hitters to square that up that's what you love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen and the right hander deals Two ball. and One another strike. ball The 2-2. Two -two. Good Game eye four. in that spot. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Well, this is no secret. That slider is going to be his go-to pitch. Everyone in the ballpark knows it. It's a massive part of his arsenal, and he'll throw it a lot, and in pretty much any count, any situation, and he's going to look to punch guys out as well. I tell you what, the effectiveness of that slider is always a big key for him. On the ground. Rojas throws on to first. Rockies down to their final out. The right fielder, number four, Michael. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Michael Tolia. And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. Sliced hard, but foul. The Rockies down to their final strike. Two down, nobody on. Here at the last half of inning number nine. Here comes a pitch. Way upstairs, going to count one and two. Popped up. And that is the ball game. Sometimes it takes just getting away from home. Players can sort of come together, connect a little bit more than they do when they're at home with their families, and that can breed to success on the field, as we saw in this game today. Excellent win by this team. 6-3, our final score for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chomby saying so long.